Good morning or welcome back uh, to part two of our little adventures through the crab track. As you saw last week we stayed at the, uh, the park here and it's only about 8 o'clock and I reckon it's 30 odd degrees already, it's quite warm so we're going to go for a quick walk. There's a little uh, creek down here. So we're going to go have a look at that. There was quite a few beers and uh, <laughs> things happening last night and Bella's ready so let's get down the creek and let's have a look. CJ Fisher, who is the owner of this camp in in Delhi camp, and um, he was so kind to actually come here and meet us and just tell a little bit about uh, what he's doing here. Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, yeah, my name's CJ Fisher, um, traditional owner of. Um, in this country here, Yalandji country. Uh, I run a tour business up here called Yindili Camp. It's a, it's a camping ground, but I also do guided tours. I take people on a rainforest walk and up into like Caterpillar Dreaming. And uh, I've been in tourists for a long time now, over 25 years. I actually worked up the gorge in the early days and now that's all running successful up there and a big enterprise now. But here it's more down to earth, it's more more intimate with people here and um, it's my own baby, I own this so you know, it's, it's more freedom. Now I, I see you have as well written a book. Yeah well I've, um, I've, I've realized I'd have had to write one because um, otherwise if you don't write it down and things get mm. forgotten you know. Mm. Time yeah. goes so fast and everything like that, and um, a lot of it, the stories um, it's sort of kind of about initiation and yeah. with the old people around, and you yeah. know they had a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and um, yeah. so there's been a lot of fleeting experience I had right through, and wow. um, so I wanted to capture that and um, put it in the book, and um, for. For other readers um, in their own country, um, they might find something similar went on with their lives too. Yeah. About that. Yeah. You know, so. No, that's great. That's that's actually fantastic because then at least um, the stories uh, will be maintained. They will pass down to everybody. Yep. Yeah, which is which is good knowledge. Passing yep. down knowledge. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. And um, you have a small brochure, so everybody who actually wants to come here. So there's some great things you can do here. So, and you're actually doing the guiding part, aren't you? Yeah, CJ? actually do guiding for it. We provide, um, we provide the food too, also. So okay. We take lunches and yep. pick these lunches. Some are shorter walks, some are the longer walks, uh, mm -hmm. especially when you go to sacred sites like Caterpillar yep. Dreaming. Yep. Oh, excellent. That's perfect. Yeah, and it's only um, uh, more or less suitable for four-wheel drives only. Um, mm -hmm. In the dry season, you'd be lucky to get in with a two-wheel drive, but yeah. you know you don't don't know whether you're going to get caught out with the rain or a storm or something. So. Yeah. Thank you, CJ, for your hospitality. Uh, it was great to get a little interview with you, and we're now heading towards the main course.
that's why most people are just in a rush to either get through the Dane tree or get up to the lion stand so they just miss it, which is unfortunate. If uh, time's on your side, definitely stay there. I guess, uh, After leaving the Indiedly campground, we passed through a couple of beautiful uh, creek crossings, but seriously, the road was uh, very well maintained. It was almost two wheel drive. But until we turned off to the Roaring Meg Falls, it became serious four wheel drive, and we had some little problems, but we made it there and we waited a lot. Now I tell the story. Break the damn box. I don't know why. It was all good until five minutes ago. I noticed before coming in this track that was slowing down low power. And now coming out this track has got worse and worse and worse. And I've noticed that the brake lights are jammed on. I think this should still be on. The brake lights are on. And the pedal's hard. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we have a little bit of a drama. I've got no idea, so I've got no idea what to do what to take. Brake pedal switch was jammed. I'm jammed the brake pedal down. Ah, look, look. Well done, Shotzi. I thought we were in trouble then. I thought we were in serious trouble. Bloody brake pedal switch. Jammed the brakes off. Now that the problem with the car is all sorted out, we ventured off down to the beach area, had a bit of a look there. But we decided not to go to the uh, Meg Falls uh, so I didn't feel comfortable going there as it was a women's area and I decided to respect that area and not go um, and Santa decided not to go as well so that's where we left it and we headed off.
when we left the Meg Falls, the uh, road was very well maintained. Honestly, a two-wheel drive would have no problem getting through. Uh, once we hit the bitumen, we pumped up the tyres and we went straight through to the lines then. We're at, uh, you're not even good. We're at the lion's den and we're going down to check out the water. Come have a look with us. We went to the Lions Den Hotel for dinner and drinks, had a great time, got a little bit lazy with the camera. However, if you did enjoy our content we created, then please hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you in part three. Thanks for watching. Cheers. See you then.